Those of you who are taking thesis seminar, I wanted to share with you some resources that are available to you as students here at the Universidad Autónoma de Aguascalientes. Before I do that, just to review in Google Classroom, if you haven't signed in already, please do so and take a look at week number one. When you fill out your weekly journals, and basically any time that you submit an assignment uh, to be graded, it's always a good idea to turn in the assignment. So if you go into Google Classroom, and I'll show you at my end how this appears. So if we look at the, the uh, learning journal for week one, Okay, so you'll notice this is what it looks like here. So these are the, uh, those of you who uh, turned in the assignment, I went ahead and graded the assignment. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and upload your reflective journal. Remember, you don't have to send me anything. You can just go into Google Classroom and click on the, this option, Learning Journal, and you should be able to open up a Google Doc on your mobile device, on your cell phone. You can do this. Uh, easily on your cell phone and type in your your uh, reflection but after you do that there's a second step which you need to turn in your assignment so there's an option if it's in Spanish I think it's called Mercado Como Terminado something like that or turn in just click that option and that will show up on my end as as you finish the the assignment okay so I don't have anyone here to grade but at the top of uh, my screen in this area will appear your assignment for me to take a look at so go ahead and turn in your assignment go ahead and complete it if you haven't done so already and then turn in the assignment again you can do all this from your cell phone and then I will uh, uh, assign you a grade for for the reflection again take a look at the guiding questions that are uh, listed in the handout. You don't have to answer all of the questions, but try to include at least a hundred words or so in your reflection so that I can see how, uh, how you're doing and I can see where you are in your process. All right, what I want to do here is uh, show you some options here. Some, I know some of you are uh, looking at your literature review. Some of you are still reading articles and bringing in information to complement your literature review. Take advantage of the databases that are available at the digital library here at the university. Um, I've listed here, in fact, I'm going to provide a list of databases that I think you'll find useful. If you go to the listado completo, here you'll have a complete list of all the databases that are available. Some of these are, are more relevant than others. Some of these have to, some of these databases relate to medicine, for example, which won't be of much interest to us. But I have listed here, in fact, I'm going to, let me bring this list over. This list, 1 through 15, these are the databases that are listed in our digital library here at the university that I feel will, uh, are very much related to education and that I think you'll find useful. So take a look at this list find those databases in this list and when you're searching every search is a little bit different but let me show you some tips here um, sometimes the key of finding information in these different databases is being able to find or use the uh, the correct search terms so sometimes this means experimenting with different search terms and let's say that I'm going to look for vocabulary. I want to find studies that, re that look at vocabulary. And maybe I want to include English language learners, perhaps. Now, at the bottom, I'm going to select here where it says Texto Completo. So I want the entire, uh, I want to have access to the entire document or the entire study. So I'm going to select this. And I'm also going to select Publicaciones Académicas, which is peer review journal articles. This is a filter. So when I go to search for these search terms, uh, theoretically it should find those articles that I have complete access to. So you'll notice here I have a PDF that I can open up. Um, and theoretically these all should be peer-reviewed articles. 
Okay, so not all databases are the same, but when you are given the option to com uh, select complete text, go ahead and do that because then I think it's just it makes it that much easier for you to find articles. But experiment with different search terms. If you find some search terms where you have few or no articles as a result, try different search terms. Try different uh, different words that you can use to narrow down your search or even broaden your search if the if if that's the case. Uh, let's see if I want to find speaking, for example. So these are pretty general terms, vocabulary and speaking. So notice I have 651 hits. Maybe this is is too broad, and so maybe I want to find. Let's narrow it down a little bit. I can select speaking, listening, and see what happens here. Now I narrowed it down to 28 articles, right? So you can experiment. And uh, again, this is only one database. It's one of 15 different databases that you can use, again, from the same list to help you find the articles that you're looking for. Another very useful website is, and if you go here at the towards the bottom of this list, Condresit. You have access to Condresit, which also has different databases that you can use to find and search different articles. Some of these are repetitive, but if you look along this right-hand side of your screen, you might find some additional re uh, resources that uh, will help you find some of the articles that you're looking for. Another very useful online a uh, journal is the MexTSOL journal. So if you can use this. This is very much related to English language learning and teaching. So this, I think, is a very good source. It's all open, and you have access to all of the articles uh, to the journal. Okay, so this is the current journal, current issue here, and then the archive you have here. You can go back and look at different articles. Finally, if you want to take a look at this link I have here, this is uh, some additional uh, links, different sources online. Most of these are open. Most of these you'll have access to. There may be a few of these that you're, you're not able to access, but these are some additional resources that you have online that you can find uh, articles. Remember that articles are going to be your best bet. Um, probably most, if not all, of these sources that I'm sharing with you today are to help you find articles. So try to find as many peer-reviewed uh, journal articles that are primary research articles to support your study. Why is this important? Because you can get a lot of information and tips and, and, and uh, some strategies and even instruments that you can use to adapt to your own study. Again, try to find other studies that you can either replicate or modify uh, to your particular uh, needs and interests. But again, try to base it on the research that is already out there. If you're creating something completely new, completely non-related to any of the sources or, or studies that you have found, we need to really talk very closely and uh, make sure that we've exhausted all of the, the literature because, again, all of you should be able to find at least three primary research articles that relate to your study. If you're not able to find that, we need to have a, a discussion about possibly modifying your topic and um, maybe finding an alternative route uh, for your study. This week, again, our focus is on organization. So please, if you haven't already, make sure that you've looked at the video that I uploaded here for week two. Please make sure you've, you've uh, checked the newsletter for week two, which you can find here. And in a few days, I'll be uploading the next journal, uh, weekly journal. It'll be listed under week two. Again, I'm keeping all the content uh, organized by week. So from your mobile device, you should be able to easily find all of this information simply going to classwork and going under each week's uh, content. I hope this helps. If you do have any issues trying to find information, trying to find articles, we need to have a discussion right away. Don't wait till your next tutoring session. 
uh, reach out to me, send me an email, come by my office, schedule some time with me so that we can um, look online and uh, I'll, I can try to help you find some of the articles if you need to. This week, your goal is to make uh, to have a uh, your research question or questions and a thesis statement. And um, yeah, so this is what we're going to focus on this week. So I will conclude by saying the main thing again this semester is to not get behind. If you're lost, if you're not sure, if you're not making progress, you're really not sure what to do next, see me right away. Do not wait until your next tutoring session uh, because this is going to be just wasted days here that uh, you can avoid if you come to me beforehand and uh, we work it out. All right, guys, thanks, and we'll talk to you soon.